I've gotten some questions about my water system. I collect rainwater off the roof. An inch of rain off a of half this roof will produce about 1,500 gallons. But I only have storage capacity for about 750. So, like one good rain fills these tanks up. Uh, there's two. I have three 250 gallon storage tanks that are wrapped in, these two are wrapped in black plastic to keep out algae from growing in them. And uh, it feeds another 250 gallon tank inside the building where I usually draw most of my water from. Uh, sometimes I'll draw from the outside tanks in warm weather just so I can save the water that's inside. Because during the winter we can't really draw from these tanks because that line right now is purged. There's no water in it uh, between the tanks and feeding the tank inside because of the winter. And we only have a few days a year where, where it actually gets cold enough to freeze the water in, that, in those lines. But it does happen and it can stay cold for a week or more. But, uh, but anyway, uh, that's how I collect the water. Uh, we'll go inside and I'll show you the rest of the plumbing system. Okay, the water from outside those tanks is fed, I feed these, this tank here. And during the winter, most of the time, we draw from this tank. You can see it's getting kind of low, but that's enough water for a few days. It's probably 150 gallons, 100 gallons or more. Uh, but anyway, it's fed in, and I have a bunch of different valves, so I can either draw water from outside, uh, purge the line outside, or draw the water from inside. And the water is fed into a, a, a 12 volt pump that uh, pressurizes the system. And then it's fed into this PEX manifold. And the PEX manifold feeds the sinks and the shower. Um, and I also have a, a uh, on-demand water heater that heats the water. It's propane. It's actually made for an outside application for to wash horses and stuff with, but it works for what we need. And you can see the lines that, are, that feed the, the sink. We'll go inside and take a look at the sink and shower. Uh, we'll turn on the hot water and I'll show you, show you the hot water heater working. Comes on. You can have hot water. shower this this was a pain this was the this was a, a couple of week project putting the shower in. it was the hardest thing I did in the cabin that in the drywall was the hardest thing but that's the plumbing system in a nutshell um, the heat with a, a, a wood cook stove it's got an oven and uh, that's it that's the that's our system our plumbing system pex is the way to go i'm telling you pex is so easy to work with uh got all different kinds of fittings you need a you need a a, a pec crimper and a gauge and you're set but that's the that's the whitetail pines plumbing system uh from curtis whitetail pines are out